The NFL playoff race is heating up, and as a result, we had quite a few players going up in sports card value from yesterday, from the games on Saturday, maybe even a guy on Thursday night. I might have more than 10 this week in the top 10 players going up with that player performance correlated with the eBay sold data, so let's dig in. Number one, once again, is Brock Purdy. He had another big game, guys. 242 yards, four touchdowns with zero interceptions, 135.3 passer rating. The 49ers now move to 11-3 and in the number one seed in the NFC. And right off the bat, check out this buy it now today of a Brock Purdy green rated rookie optic auto serial numbered out of five, PSA nine, $6,000. Or what about his base obsidian, non-serial numbered, selling for $80 in a buy it now. It was originally listed at $110 and the seller took $80. When back on September 25th, that card sold for $42.55 in auction. Or October 6th, and this is after Brock Purdy's hot start, that card sold for $46.51. His black prism silver, PSA 9, not even a 10, $120. And as you could see in that market, the 10, the PSA 10, is up to a new trend of $330. That's a 7% increase over the past 30 days. But when we study the 9s, which does have a PSA population of 191, you can see there was a well-timed auction that ended for $137.50 last night. And then even last week, six days ago, there was a buy it now for $199. So in fact, this $120 seller right here sold themselves short, but I'm sure they had some nice profit in the card. As you can see, if you were buying that card back in the middle of November during the 49ers midseason dip, you could have got that card in auction for as low as $57. So very nice increase from there. Now, his largest transaction in the past couple days was this uh, select green prism, serial numbered one out of five, eBay one of one, of course, PSA population of one, of course. The card did get a 10, the auto only a nine with the sticker there, but this card sold for $13,000 in a buy it now, originally listed at $20,000. Now, you also had this Panini Flawless sell that's a Rookie Frame Signatures on card rookie auto, serial numbered four out of 20, that was listed for nine grand, but the seller took $3,200. I think somebody got a deal there, guys. Let me know in the comment section below would you rather have the green select out of five that we looked at, RPA? or that flawless out of 20 with that on-card rookie auto for the price points I just mentioned. However, it was number two, Christian McCaffrey, that Brock Purdy thinks should win the MVP. Christian McCaffrey is just an absolute beast, guys, racking up another 44 PPR fantasy points. That means he went 18 for 115 yards and a touchdown on the ground. That's 6.4 yards per carry and another five receptions for 72 yards and two touchdowns through the air, a total of three touchdowns guys he's by far the number one running back in the nfl right now by over 300 rushing yards and he's part of this incredible 49er squad that appears to be super bowl bound we're starting to get back into those 2020 type prices for christian mccaffrey's base rookie card here the base donruss the iconic rated rookie from 2017 raw 1199 buy it now on the low end that card could have been had back at the end of september for just five dollars or what about his Aqua Prism serial numbered out of $299, sold in the buy it now today for $115. The PSA 9 on the low end was selling back at the end of September for just $56, or the Raw for $61. What about this big old napkin patch preferred rookie auto serial numbered out of $99 that sold for $160, buy it now. His Optic Contenders Rookie Ticket Auto Silver Prism sold in the Buy It Now yesterday on game day for $225. On November 30th, there was a CGC 7.5 that closed an auction for $113.50. That could have been cracked down and converted to that $225. Back on November 1st, also on the low end, a, a, the same exact card closed in auction raw for $129.50. So once again, we're seeing about a double up across the board on most of Chris McCaffrey's cards. 
the 180 day trend, the six month trend shows a pretty significant increase across the board, especially in cards like the base honors PSA 10 up 66% to a new trend of 153. The base select up 42% to a new trend of 86. Look at these markers up across the board. The red, white, and blue prism, which is probably the most common next to his silver, up 34% to a new trend of almost $200. The base prism, silver standard out of the box for rookies that year in 2017, is up to a trend of $235, up 22%. As you can see, that card was being purchased for $112 back in the summer on July 9th. And our most recent is a buy it now yesterday, last night, for $294.99. Now, real quick, if you're new here, welcome to the Football Card Quest, part of the NoOffSeason.com Sports Card Network. We are 100% dedicated to football cards, research, selling tips, buying tips, all right? Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon, so you're notified the next time we put out content. Make sure you leave us a like if you're enjoying this video. Now, back to the action. Now, real quick, guys, if you like this web app and you want to get access to it, check out FootballCardQuest.com. Click that little Go Premium button. And that also gets you access to all of our other perks and benefits. We just did a uh, a box break at cost for premium members on Saturday night. We got fantasy playoffs going on for five different leagues, all hosted by me for Patreon uh, premium only members. We also release weekly articles that do deep dives on specific players and their cards I would target and the price points I would target them at and all bunch more guys we got a discord server with a ton of different channels check it out footballcardquest.com slash go premium now back to the action number three has got to be jake browning because he continues to roll guys another big day and he did so against a consistently aggressive and difficult opposing defense in the Vikings, he ended the game throwing for more than 300 yards at 7.7 .7 yards per attempt. And despite being sacked five times, the two biggest plays of the game from the Bengals were passes thrown while under pressure down the field. T. Higgins has a monster grab towards the end of this game with an incredible one-handed reach for the touchdown. He finished with four receptions for 61 yards and the two touchdowns. And his prices just continue to go up. Look at these. Prism draft picks, they continue to roll out of the woodworks. Look at all the buy it nows today, guys. Base score. We know this was a dollar bin card before Jake Browning got his starting opportunity. Now, the Prism draft picks that were previously $5 cards are selling consistently like candy for $150. This seller sold himself short at $110. Then you have $125, another $125, and you had the $150 buy it now today. But look, some of these. Uh, some of these scores are still coming out of the woodworks for five to seven dollars when you actually got them selling and buy it nows for almost twenty dollars. Oh baby! And his largest transaction from yesterday was this Contenders uh, college ticket auto serial number two out of fifteen that sold for five hundred and fifty dollars was originally listed at a thousand. But what about the Mojo Refractor Prism Draft Picks? Rookie auto here that sold for $575. Buy it now. Those serial numbered out of 49. That is up almost an incredible 500%. If you look at this transaction from November 16th from the COMC store, $120. Buy it now. That person was able to make an insane flip in the matter of just a month. And it wasn't just that one. You had this one that sold for $140 on November 17th, or this one that sold for $150 on November 22nd so forth and so on. Number four is going to be James Cook because the Bills running back was the story of this game. He's been on a torrid pace in recent weeks. Cook averaged more than seven yards per attempt with 179 yards on 25 carries, scoring on the ground as well as one of his two receptions for 42 yards. Cook accounted for 221 of the Bills' 351 total offensive yardage output in a massive win over the Dallas Cowboys. You got a shout out to the Bills' defensive front seven for being dominant against the Cowboys. And it's important to mention that Dak did choke, but it didn't help that they lost all pro right guard Zach Martin. And the Bills are still on the bubble for the playoffs and have a lot of work to do left this season to make sure they grab a playoff seed. But I want to highlight... This Silver Prism Rookie Auto that sold in a Buy It Now today for $35.
And just 10 days ago, you could have had that card in an auction for $6.79, maybe a little bit off center. But what about this one that ended November 17th, just a month ago for $6.50? Is Chronicles Gridiron Kings one of one sold today for $200 in a best offer accepted auction format? His horizontally formatted Zenith four-color rookie patch auto, serial numbered out of 299, sold today for $40 in a buy it now. So tons of buy it now sold data for James Cook. Obviously, you see the bigger dollars going for the more rare serial numbered and rookie autograph cards, but obviously a lot of base cards selling as well, which is pretty impressive. A lot of people want to get them a slice of James Cook. That Zenith on the low end just about two months ago sold for $20.50 in an auction October 1st. And now, like we said, is selling for $40 in a buy it now. His NT Gold last week, rookie patch auto, beautiful card right here, actually sold for just a third of what it was listed as. Listed at $750 and the seller took $250 buy it now. His largest transaction from game day was actually this lot of six illusions trophy collection rainbow. He had the one of one out of five out of ten, etc. So for four hundred dollars in a buy it now. Number seven is Dominique Raheem Mostert, who's got a total of ten different rookie cards. That is it, guys. It's a bunch of different rookie ticket autos. And he made Dolphins history yesterday, getting his 20th touchdown of the season, a top three running back right now in the NFL. It's Miami's Dolphins record. He opens the scoring in the first quarter. He's a top three. His rookie ticket auto is currently selling by it now for between $80 and $100. And that's the base variation. Back in September, those cards were selling for just $34 in auction. And guess what? No Tyreek Hill? No problem for the Miami Dolphins offense. In Hill's absence, Jalen Waddle stepped up and had his best game of the year. The 2021 first-round draft pick recorded eight catches for 142 yards and a touchdown. No other Dolphins receiver picked up more than 32 yards. Dominant performance. As you can see in this buy-it-now sold today of a Jalen Waddle absolute rookie auto for $100 is a BGS 9.5 Auto 10. Or his certified rookie patch auto horizontally formatted serial numbered out of 249 for $90. A card almost twice as rare as that sold on December 4th just 14 days ago for $40. Number six is going to be the LA Rams. That's Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup and Kyron Williams and Puka Nakua. Matt Stafford stayed hot after throwing for at least three touchdowns in past in each of his past three games, he recorded 258 yards and two touchdowns on 25 of 33 passing in this outing. Cooper Cup led the way as a receiver, totaling 111 yards on eight receptions with the touchdown. Much of his damage came on a wide open 62 yard catch. Kyron Williams was once again the star out of the backfield, delivering 131 yards and a touchdown. Puka, he lived in Cooper Cup's shadow in this game, but he was still a key part of the offense. He saw eight targets, catching five of them for 50 yards. Nakua also carried the ball twice for three yards as the Rams looked to find different ways to get the ball in his hands and his hands. Rams currently have a playoff seed and could be facing the Lions in the playoffs if things unfold properly. So let's check out this buy it now that sold today. It is a Topps Chrome Refractor Rookie 2009 that sold for $78 buy it now raw. This same card could have been had in auction back on October 9th for just $14.50. Or in a PSA 8 slab on December 3rd for just $21. The one-year chart for his 2009 Tops Finest, which has a 73.88% of being converted from a raw to a PSA 10. That is fantastic. Population of only 215 at PSA. It's kind of been bouncing back and forth. You have Lows of four, just $40 back in the beginning of November and highs as high as 120 in Buy It Now. So he looks like a Buy It Now warrior. And Kyron Williams, rookie ticket autos back on October 24th sold for $8. November 13th sold for $7.50. And now today, sell for anywhere between $25 and $30 as you see in this Buy It Now from game day. And they go up from there based on the scarcity, including this green Pulsar serial numbered out of 30 that sold in auction yesterday for $70.
Matt Stafford's largest transaction from yesterday was a 2009 National Treasures rookie patch auto horizontally formatted. Some pretty cool stitching there. 64 out of 99 was a serial number sold for $560 in auction. That is a raw card authenticity guarantee. And then next up was this National Treasures autographed rookie. Doesn't appear to be serial numbered. Did sell for $200 with just a plain ugly blue patch horizontally formatted. Cooper Cup saw his 2023 Donruss Black serial numbered out of 10 rated rookie sell for $925 in a buy it now raw. Holy smokes. That same card closed in auction yesterday for $610. So the auctioner lost himself $300 between the two formats. And you can see that card closed in auction on December 13th for $500. So in fact, almost a double up from December 13th in just five days to the buy it now of $925. We're going to give number seven this week to Rashi Rice, wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs. He has been a key contributor in recent weeks, seeing his snap share and production increase significantly to the point where he is now the clear top receiver on this team. He once again proved that this week by earning nine targets, which he took in for nine catches, 91 yards and a touchdown. The Chiefs ended their two-game losing skid with a timely road win against the puny Patriots in week 15, moving to 9-5 and five on the year. I guess I shouldn't say puny. I'm try probably going to get some hate from those Patriot fans. But Bailey Zappi came back down to earth in the second half, and you guys know what I'm saying as he threw an interception on the first play of the second half. After having a pretty solid first half, the game was fairly close, but what I wanted to look at here is the sold data coming from the Rashi Rice market, including this rated rookie numbered out of $96, $20 in a buy it now. Also wanted to highlight this base bomb squad selling for $6.49. When just a few days ago, that was just a $1 to $2 card with free shipping. Or the Bomb Squad Auto. The Bomb Squads are getting some love here, but that is a fairly common insert at the end of the day when all the other sets are out. This is going to be a pretty common card, but people are kind of digging the design, I think, as this uh, Bomb Squad Rookie Auto out of $199 sold for $90 in a buy it now today. That's up about $25 from where it sold just December 4th, just a couple weeks ago, for $67. He also had this PSA 10 banger sell yesterday on game day in a, in a buy it now. It's a Panini Luminance Blue Ink Rookie Auto PSA 10 sold for $300 in a buy it now. He also had his uh, uh, Panini Gold Standard dual patch. Pretty cool patch here. Horizontally formatted though. It is serial number 10 out of 10. So you got that dual serial number match there. The book in. And it does have a sticker, Rookie Auto, $250, buy it now. Number eight and arguably nine is Joe Flacco and David Njoku. Flacco leads the Browns to another win against a toughened up Chicago Bears team. It's fairly close. The Browns tied in. David Njoku was a focal point of the passing game all afternoon amid the Browns' offensive line being decimated by injuries with stalwart left guard Joel Bittanino. Also going down with an injury in this game, Njoku finished with 10 receptions for 104 yards and a score, and Amari Cooper stepped up with 109 yards and a touchdown on four big receptions. The upper deck exquisite was actually in the market when Joe Flacco was a rookie in 2008 out of 99. This card sold for $160 by it now, originally listed at 249 you also had his one-of-one one NFL Shield sell today in a BGS 9.5 slab. This is a 2008 National Treasures. This was listed at $1,500, sold for $500. So you can see the buy it now increase across the board in Joe Flacco rookie cards. He is 38 years old, and I do believe this is a sell alert. A lot of these base cards are selling buy it now for just a couple bucks, uh, and I believe they could potentially go up even more. David Njoku rookie ticket autos selling yesterday and today for that $30 range. As you can see in the base one selling for $15 in a buy it now. You had one out of 49 horizontally format sold for $75 yesterday. Silver Prism for $15 today. 
That card selling for just $5 back in the beginning of November on multiple occasions, as you can see in the sold listings from the middle of November. We got to give number nine this week to Sam Laporta, tight end for the Detroit Lions. Uh, we could also argue that Jared Goff is starting to go back up now and uh, so is Amon Ross St. Brown and Jameer Gibbs as well. Just the entire Detroit Lions, they, they bounce back to life this week, an impressive win over the Red Hot Broncos, who are coming off of five straight wins. Goff finished 24 for 34 with 278 passing yards and five passing touchdowns. Sam Laporta had three touchdowns to Jameer Gibbs, two touchdowns. Amon Ross St. Brown went off two for seven receptions, 112 yards, and a touchdown. The Lions are back to their winning form, now 10 and 4. A lot of good sold data happening in the past 24 hours for Sam Laporta. Hundreds of cards, in fact. Uh, prestige portraits advertised as a case hit, I believe it is. $43 in a buy it now. And you have a gold standard horizontal rookie plain patch auto out of $199. That sold for $56.50. And his base optic. Preview pink, $7.50 in a buy it now. People are even buying the base dollars for about four or five bucks. You have those uh, some of those scores selling. You have the optic hollow preview selling for $20 in a buy it now. Got the Jameer Gibbs RP at a $199, $42 in an auction today. Holiday sweaters going for about 10 to 15 bucks, the same price as the San Laportas. Those optic preview hollows going for about the same price as the Sam Laporta's as well for 20 bucks. Compare that though to the Bijan Robinson. That's pretty impressive when you see that Bijan Robinson selling yesterday for 18. Obviously, still none of them are anywhere near that of Puka Nakua, whose optic preview hollow is selling for $68. All right, number 10 is once again a three-way tie. I'd love to say it's Baker Mayfield. He's now won last three in a row, throwing very well in a pretty dominant win, just outplayed the Green Bay Packers yesterday. He finished with a perfect passer rating of 158.3 and averaged 13.6 yards per attempt. His top target was my man Chris Godwin. Love to see who caught went uh, 10 for 155 in this game. Rashad White was also excellent from the backfield. He caught two passes for 50 yards and a touchdown to go along with his 85 rushing yards. The Bucs are now a playoff team. I've seen some little tiny increases in Baker Mayfield prices, but not a whole lot. So same thing goes with Aiden O'Connell. Right? Raiders are out of the playoffs, but... He shredded the puny, puny L.A. Chargers last Thursday night to the tune of four touchdowns and zero interceptions. That was a pass rating of 120.7. Jacoby Myers even threw a touchdown in that game. Brandon Staley was promptly fired after the game. And what about Gardner Minshew? Three-way tie, right? Colts, Aiden O'Connell with the Raiders, and Baker Mayfield with the Tampa Bay Bucks, and you could say the uh, Tampa Bay offense, Baker, Mike, Chris Godwin, Rashad White, Kate Otten. Colts are currently tied with the Texans and the Jags now after the Jags lose last night for first place in the AFC South, and Gardner Minshew is still throwing dimes out there, guys. This time against the Steelers, he threw th Steelers, which is a pretty tough defense, right? Three touchdowns, zero interceptions, a pass rate of 123.4. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, which one of those three should be included at number 10 this week. Interesting sold data from all of them, but not big enough for me to say, oh, here's a noticeable 50 to 100% type price increase like you've seen from a lot of the other skill position players, quarterbacks uh, in this video. It's also interesting to note that Jacoby Brissett could also be mentioned here. He had a quite a good connection with uh, Terry McLaurin in the fourth quarter after Sam Howell was benched from throwing an ugly interception. So that's your top 10 this week. We'll see what the Eagles can do tonight if they can bounce back. This is a big game against the Seahawks here. NFC battle. If the Eagles want to stay in contention for that top seed in the NFC that the San Francisco 49ers now have, especially after Dak just choked yesterday against the Bills. When he had the opportunity to grasp the MVP for the first time in his career, and it might have just slipped away, I think it's probably going to be Brock Purdy at this point. But stay tuned till tomorrow. Uh, tune into the QuestCast. Set those notifications to on, 
And make sure you like the video if you do. And check out footballcardquest.com. Go premium for all their perks and benefits. And nooffseason.com for any other content outside of football. Baseball. They just did a 2023 Bowman uh, premiere um, special episode, release special episode this morning for baseball. So check it out, guys, in the description below. Or just head over to Sports Car Australia. I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace.